Hi everybody, DK here with Mr. V Amps. This might be a really short video, I'm hoping it is. This is a Hartkey KM100 keyboard amp. It's a 100 watt uh, amp and uh, solid state. And uh, anyway, the owner was trying to play a bass through it and apparently they started experimenting with different speaker cabinets. And my guess is they got one with the wrong impedance. Uh, when you turn it on, the speaker pushes forward and it makes a horrible buzzing sound so we've obviously got a lot of DC voltage um, on the output so uh, we all kind of know what that is so let's just dig in so anyway this has already sort of been troubleshot at least the quick way um, we've got essentially like point what is it point two two ohm so these are like almost zero ohm real low resistors um, you know we got some other resistors I don't see anything necessarily fried but when you have DC on the output where your speakers pushing out we probably have a shorted transistor so you just want to put your meter in the BP mode and check between the legs of transistors and that one's all shorted out and this one is was is all shorted out yep and uh, then on this side which is the complementary pair looks like we're shorted out and we need to check these driver transistors also to see if they're all shorted out after we get the other ones out so we have blown driver transistors we or blown power transistors so we need to deal with that um, and once we get those out, then maybe, maybe, maybe the drivers are okay, or we're going to have to order those two. Okay, so I've got the board flipped where I can remove the blown up transistors, and you can see there's a trace here that's cooked, basically because these transistors were on full blast, heating up the board. It looks like the only real burn spot, though, so that should be a straightforward fix. Once I get these things out, I want to make sure that there's no other shorted transistors, though. Okay, so after getting those four transistors out, I checked uh, everything else around here, the diodes, the transistors, the resistors, all that stuff. Don't have anything else burnt open, so we just have that toasty trace and the popped transistors. Um, B688 and looks like what is that D1 or D718 are the complementary pair and I did find those so yay so checking those four out of circuit the outside two are toast the inside two pass the diode test it doesn't matter I've got all four okay so in the process of changing the transistors here um, there are little plastic micas or whatever that are underneath each of these transistors so you want to make sure that none of the points of any of these transistors uh, ground out to the heat sink so uh, just check that you know make sure you don't have any beeps that was a beep because I touched that but we're good okay and then right by that transistor was our burnt section of trace that was open because it was burnt and uh, just a small section so I took one of the snipped legs off of one of our transistors there and made a nice little bridge and honestly I think it looks kind of neat and that some quick quick look wouldn't reveal that I cheated and did that <laughs> okay so we got everything put back together roughly um, I did bring the variac out we're gonna start at uh, you know like 40 50 volts creep it up from there make sure we're less likely to start a fire but you know it is what it is Okay, so it's been a few weeks 
since the previous footage. Like, a lot. So much that I don't even remember what's on there. Um, this amp had broken my spirit. I replaced the burnout power transistors, and when I powered it up, I used the Variac to gently power it up so nothing would explode. And that was a mistake. This is a push-pull balancing act kind of thing where the plus rail and the minus rail have to sort of lock horns and push, you know, plus x volts and minus x volts to equal zero. And uh, by bringing it up slowly on the Variac, that was not able to happen. You basically just have to slam these things with all the power you got and maybe throw a current limiter on there and say a prayer. Um, so, in changing the power transistors, uh, and then powering it up, it seemed that I had failed and there was still DC on there. Um, so rather than get very frustrated and angry at this project and throw it out the window or smash it or do something illogical, um, I put it down for a little while until I cooled down and got a head a got a head back on you know got my head on straight and could reapproach it logically. Um, when I get frustrated, sometimes I make silly decisions, and this is a customer's amplifier, so I don't want to just call the customer and say it can't be fixed. I'll give you twenty five bucks for the parts and throw it away. Um, that's not my style. It never has been my style. Um, I did. I, I had asked for more time. I've been asking a lot of people for more time. Um, just because of all the projects that have been going on here, a lot of them which are not on YouTube. Um, so it's been a very busy time, but this amplifier actually did come back to life with just the power transistors. And it sounds fine. And my friend was over and he down-tuned my bass. He's a pretty cool cat. He's the same guy who did the artwork on some of the new pedals that you see. Uh, there are quite a few new pedals coming out. There's still a few more yet in the can. Um, I started making pedals at, at the request of a music store and I ended up producing an entire line and a high percentage of them are available for sale on Reverb. We've got some really uh, positive reviews about uh, like our Mountain Haze Fuzz and the Mad Cow and the Shogun and some of these various pedals that we've done. I think they're really cool. I think the art's cool. They're priced competitively. If you need if you need a pedal and you're considering, you know, supporting the channel, that's cool. Uh, I'd love it if you, you know, even if you want to negotiate with me, we'll play ball. I'm putting a lot of my reverb stuff on the end of the month sale and there's lots and lots of goodies there so I'll throw a link to the reverb store down in the comments section there and if there's anything you need or want that I perchance to have for sale by all means I'll be glad to uh, get it to you. Uh, our channel is not supported by advertising, it's supported by fixing stuff like this and by our buy sell trade and I was doing the auction finds series and I just quit doing them because people don't seem to care but there are some really amazing pieces that have come through those auctions um, and I thought you might want to see them because they're cool music items but yeah you know it is what it is so this is a heart key KB or KM 100 keyboard amp and I fixed it and I didn't realize I fixed it and I put it away for several weeks only to power back up to find out I did fix it and I just powered it up wrong. <sighs> I'm such a doofus. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night.